Hi everybody, Trish Palmer here, Limestone Coast Master Hypnotherapist, and welcome to today's article discussion. Today I'm going to be talking about how Dr. Simone Peters found in the studies the, com the comparison between hypnosis and low FODMAP diets. We actually go into a lot of food in the course that we run so that you can actually find the food triggers, you can find what's going on and how people are actually processing it mentally. So this is the finding of Dr. Simone Peters. So before I go into it, since October 2017, we have run five successful events across Australia. Whilst we we're at one of those events, a <clears throat> Excuse me, a representative from the AHA actually approached us at, and said, we need this course to be recognized. <laughs> I started shaking. It was like so exciting. So we have trained over 150 people in the IBS hypnosis protocol and we have released the IBS protocol online so it reaches outside Australia. So since doing this, we've also been asked to go to New Zealand as well and we are off there in November 2019, this year. So if you're in New Zealand, please jump onto the website, have a look and grab your ticket. We have payment plans available and we don't charge extra for payment plans because we need more gut-directed hypnotherapies, hypnotherapists to be trained. So here are the dates for this year's events. So we're coming up to Melbourne very, very soon. So please jump in fast if you need a payment plan. It's on March 23rd to 24th. Adelaide's going ahead in April. Sydney is all good to go. We've already started selling tickets there for June. Perth is in August. We've already sold out half the tickets in August. So if you're coming in Perth, please grab your ticket now. Brisbane has started selling and November's getting some hot seats gone as well. Like I said before, we do have payment plans. They start at $40 and we will sell out this year. So let me show you the article. So here is the article from Monash University and it was published on the 4th of J June in 2018. I'll just scroll in so you can see it a bit better. There we go. And a bit more. Okay, so what happened was there is Dr. Simone Peters, Joan Moy and Marina LeCouve. Whoops. I clicked on that by accident. So look up Simone Peters. She's absolutely fabulous at everything that she does. So she decided that they would do a study on how hypnotherapy is helping people who suffer with IBS, with irritable bowel syndrome. So patients were asked to imagine that their gut is in a beautiful, peaceful, slimy set of passages where the digested food just slips through smoothly and lubricated. In the IBS hypnosis protocol, we give you all of the scripts and you can adapt any of the scripts for people with Crohn's, colitis, diperticulitis and other things as well. So the clients are actually asked to think about their digestive system as smooth and or as a flowing river uh, with no obstacles and no blockages, etc, etc, etc. So this is a brave new world for hypnotherapy. We know that gut-directed hypnosis works, but we're trying to get it noticed more and more and more by the medical association. And IBS is a nasty, it's a really is a mysterious disorder. We, it's a syndrome, we don't know what causes it. And at the time of this was published, it was one in seven Australians suffered from IBS. It's now one in five, according to the Australian Bureau of Statistics. So IBS is very painful. It can lead to restricted diets and lifestyle, and it can lead to fluctuance um, that, that is uncontrollable. It can lead to people actually having a smelly skin as well because the body's trying to excrete the toxins. So particularly in men, because they sweat so much, the toxins go into their sweat and then they, they have this odor about them. So it can be very, very debilitating. And some people with I IBS actually can't even work. So I won't be going into this whole IBS criteria, but I'll go into the studies about it, okay? So Monash University decided to do a study, and the study was called Gut-Directed Hypnotherapy or Low FODMAP Diets for the Treatment of Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Now, if you want to read the small synapses on that, simply click the link in there. So you just open it in a new tab, and the synapses will pop up. So give that a read. It is a very, very good read. Okay, so 
With the results being so positive that even researchers were surprised in conjunction with Monash groundbreaking low FODMAP diet. So this was the FODMAP diet was developed 12 years ago and it could unlock the suffering of people who have got high food allergies. So it can also help unlock IBS sufferers as well. And we talk about FODMAPs in the course. So Monash researchers found that a low FODMAP diet helps with the symptoms and that's a really good thing. <laughs> so the hypnotherapy was led by Dr. Simone Peters. And Dr. Simone Peters wanted to consolidate findings of UK researchers suggesting that therapy was effective. So Dr. Peters is part of Monash University and the Alfred Hospital's Department of Gastroenterology. Since these studies have been done, they've actually opened up departments in the Alfred Hospital uh, in, the, in the gastroenterology section for hypnotherapists to work with gut-related issues. So she's also one of Melbourne's two hypnotherapy and private clinics and is a, <clears throat> sorry, I'm so, so crusty today, and is also a psychologist by training. So that, as she stated, there was some talk in the UK about hypnotherapy, but there was nothing being done and we thought, let's give it a shot. So they decided to design a study and this is how the study went. The, there were 78 participants participants and they were divided into groups one group for hypnotherapy on its own one group for diet on its own which was a FODMAP based diet and the other one was a combination of the two and the 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 results were absolutely astounding like she says it was hugely surprising we found hypnotherapy was incredibly beneficial hi Danae how you going beautiful so the results showed that hypnotherapy was as beneficial as the low FODMAP diet <clears throat> 70% of those surveyed responded positively to the hypnotherapy and there was a significant improvement in the overall and individual gut sy symptoms. So things like abdominal pain, bloating, gas, wind, aka uh, satisfaction and stool consistency and nausea. We go into feces and things like that in the course. I know it's a, an icky subject, but it's something that we need to know about because your people are having probably coming to you for two reasons. The gas has gotten out of control and the bloating is horrible or their feces is um, all over the place. So by the end of the six week study, the improvement was maintained over a six month period afterwards and it suggested that the response, the response was not a placebo. There was actually people getting results. So people doing only the hypnotherapy part of the study study hadn't excluded anything from their diets. So this is the part where you get your mind blown. So that surprisingly interested us, Dr. Simone says. We could have expected the results to have not been as much as the dietary one. We also found that people who did the combination of the therapy didn't do any better. Wow, hey? So people who were doing the hypnotherapy and the low FODMAP didn't actually get any better results. Those that just did the hypnotherapy got the results and those that did the low FODMAP actually got some lower results. I'll show you about that in the article later on. So they actually didn't do any better than those that just did one therapy on their own. And that was what was so surprising. Dr. Bruce Lipton is fantastic, uh, a fantastic person to follow. And he talks about the biology of belief and how we are already... Um, self-healing mechanisms in our life and we can heal anything without any form of drugs <clears throat> and he shows that and he's trying to get the clinical side on it but the problem is big, the big pharmaceutical companies don't want to uh, hear about it because it's big money so if we can prescribe a pill to someone why not rather than prescribing a mindset so the study also found that hypnotherapy was effectively um, for psychologically too. So it was also really good for anxious and depressed, depressed individuals. So it helped along those lines as well. So I could scroll down a little bit further. <clears throat> now, this is where John Moyer actually stepped in, okay? And she stepped in and she said that basically that the study was not properly managed and most of the low FODMAP part was yoga related rather than FODMAP related. So she said she went on to state that we don't want to bag yoga, but if you're going to do these sorts of studies and you have to do them properly. So food and diet is very complex. So they found that when people were doing the low FODMAP diet, that they weren't complying properly and there was a lot of yoga involved. So that's why they sort of went, hmm, we don't know about the results of this. Are you kidding me? Like the people in the hypno hypnotherapy session got 70% results 
and had long-term benefits. What else do you need to compare it to? A potato? Come on, guys. So they talked about the brain. Um, they talked about how um, yoga and low FODMAPs. Now, when it comes to low FODMAPs, we talk about that. Hi, Sandra. We talk about low FODMAPs in the hypnosis protocol and different kind of foods and triggers and stuff like that. Now, a low FODMAP diet is only recommended for short-term loose use because it is so restrictive. So, and I'll go on. There is a brain gut axis, said Dr. Levu. There is strong communication between the two. The hypnotherapy is getting the mind in a relaxed state and getting you to think about how you're feeling and how your gut is feeling. So this is when you have an IBS episode. You can use that. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Um, so they're talking about relaxing the mind and then visualizing into your insides so that you can heal all of that. I actually just had a cancer client yesterday and as she sat down, she said to me, can I please have a bucket? I feel so nauseated. She'd had her chemo treatment three days before and she's like, I just feel so nauseated and it keeps on going. I was told that the chemo would do this. And I said to her, okay, so I went and got her bucket. I sat it beside the chair and then I did some hypnosis on her to help her with the nausea before we went into her actual session. And when she come out, just like five minutes later, she's like, wow. And I'm like, exactly. You are in control of how your body operates. You are in charge. You're the only one here, so be nice. And she was just so fantastic and she had a fantastic session. I was so proud of her. So anyway, back into this. So what they go on to state is that it is not for everyone, um, but it has definitely become an option for many people. So they're talking about the hypnosis and the low FODMAPs here. So the next phase for Monash is to research and give more funding, which it always comes down to, um, into these studies. But the problem is that there are a lot of places that a lack of funding and getting funding for alternative therapies uh, can be very, very restricted. So the small studies that we have now are showing that hypnotherapy is the go-to therapy for gut-related issues, for irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's, colitis, and diverticular colitis as well. So please jump on that link, give that full article a read. It's absolutely fantastic. Like I said before, you can jump on to the synapses and get a lowdown on it from the update. It's absolutely fascinating to read. So please grab your seat at the IBS event training that is near you. Simply go to pellinandparma.com forward slash events. We have payment plans. So if you decide that you're coming to visit us in, say, Sydney, which is in like June, then please book your seat. It's only $40 a deposit and we'll work out a payment plan that is easier for you between now and June. As long as it's paid off before the event, we are all good, okay? The longer you take your payment plan, the easier it is for you guys to pay sort of thing. So we need more gut-directed hypnotherapy. So please jump onto this and help out the community. One in five Australians are suffering with this issue. So there's more than enough business to go around. So please jump onto our webpage, pellinandparma.com forward slash events and join me every Thursday at 8 a.m. So the next thing we will be talking about is food and IBS.